everybody welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be dropping a uh, manga review we're gonna be reviewing this coffee moon volume one the mangaka here is mochiro bora i'll write it on the screen right there just so you can see how it's spelled now let's take a look at the cover real quick thought this was kind of interesting okay so this is the front cover as you see here the title is named coffee moon now it repeats the title a lot of times coffee moon coffee moon you see how it's repeated a lot of times now there's a there's a method to the madness right because this girl her name is Peter, and she keeps repeating the same day over and over so here you see it makes more sense when you see why it's uh, repeated so much here's the back of the cover so you see the back of her and the buildings that that was a real nice touch you get to see the front and back here you get both our uh, angles and this is the spine. Spine's a little basic, but it's fine. I really like the cover, what they did here, though. Showing the front and back. So let's talk about this manga a little bit. This uh, main character named Peter, he's been repeating the same day over and over. So when you're reading the manga, you read, like, the first few pages. You get some of the story of what she does in her daily routine. And then you keep reading, and it's the same thing again. And you're like, what the hell? Like, didn't I just read this? She's repeating the same stuff. Uh, same pictures walking down the same place I was like what the hell then it's like oh, okay she's repeating the same day over and over something's going on here like every day after she wakes up it's the same day again so once she finds out about this she's like I'm repeating the same day over and over because she's noticing things like when she eats the people on the next table it's the same conversation as yesterday's this person is walking here this person's gonna trip and fall here and it's like right on cue all the same things happen the next day She's like, something's going on. Everybody is doing the same thing. The only things that change is based on what she does, right? So she starts switching it up a little bit. She's like, today I'm going to walk to school down this street instead of this one. Mix things up. I'm going to order this food instead of this one. Instead of talking to this person today, I'm going to go and talk to that one. And she kind of uh, finds this little way to entertain herself. Like, like if I had this conversation that went soft or whatever... Tomorrow I'll do the same conversation and I'll switch it. I'll, I'll add something different or, or whatever, right? So we slowly start, um, it, it starts getting interesting, right? Like you start getting intrigued with it. Like, hold on, like, let's see what else she does. It comes off almost like slice of life at first. But then, it, but then it takes a turn real quick. So she meets this girl. And this girl, her, um, her father is this famous politician. A lot of people don't like him, you know. He has a lot of enemies. And that's, uh his daughter so because of her dad she doesn't have a lot of friends a lot of people hate her because of who her dad is and now she's even making enemies that ain't really her enemies they're his father's enemies but they you know they're gonna take it out on her you know how these extremists are they're out of control and uh they're, they don't think rationally like the rest of us so when when uh she befriends this person that's when the story gets it gets real dark it gets real dark real quick and, oh, I forgot to mention, the art on this is insane. I mean, the art on this is really good. And from the get-go, the art is kind of dark as well. It almost felt like a, a art that should be in, a, like, a horror mystery uh, manga or even in, like, a hard-boiled detective stories that crime detective stories sometimes have dark, gritty art as well. Okay, so I found the story real good. Um, It was about something a little slightly different, which was nice. The art was amazing. It was probably my favorite part. But the story was real solid as well. Especially the ending. It got, got real crazy. So we're going to get a little bit into the spoiler territory. But not too much. Because it's not necessarily a lot happened. In this first volume. But it definitely leaves you wanting more when you finish it. You're like, I got to know what happens next. Because it really, really hooks you towards the end. And you're like, man, I got to keep going. Too bad we can't binge, watch, uh, binge read this. Because volume 2 isn't out yet. Uh, it might already be out. Actually, I haven't, I haven't checked the head of it if it's been released yet. But I'm definitely picking it up for sure. So when she uh, befriends this girl, this um, this daughter of this politician, she takes Peter down this uh, this path, this wrong area where she shouldn't go through, where she knows her father has a lot of enemies. But she goes down this path expecting some type of reaction from these extremists, right? So when they spot her there, they're like, it's her, the daughter of this guy, so-and-so. And they all attack her, start bringing guns out. And she gets crazy, things get messy. But she did it on purpose to scare Peter, to show her, like, look how dangerous my life is. But she purposely went to the worst-case scenario, to the most dangerous area where she doesn't belong, right? 
but just to kind of show her, like, look, my, my life is crazy, homie. Like, it ain't nothing like yours. Like, I got all kinds of crap going on, right? Like, that's kind of the message she wanted to send. But in doing so, she, uh, these, these extremists, once she left the block where, where, where she wasn't supposed to go through, they took it real personal. Like, like they were really offended. Like, how dare she, right? So, uh, so they want to retaliate. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to let you know what happens, what doesn't happen. But keep in mind, whatever does and doesn't happen, the next day gets rewinded. So you will do this over and over like a video game when you lose, play over from the beginning, lose. And you know everything is going to happen and you try to find new ways to avoid these obstacles, right? So that's kind of what's going on in this game. It really reminds me of that movie, Day After Tomorrow, where Tom Cruise dies and the next time he starts again, he goes a little farther into the game, dies again, goes a little farther. You get some of that going here. But um, it, it was really good. And like I said, the art was oh, phenomenal, phenomenal. So yeah, I'm going to give this like a, at least somewhere like an 8.5. This is really solid. Uh, I was really intrigued. If you guys have read this before, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Other than that, I'll check you guys out next time.